AFC Arari Eastern District Youth Fellowship. Many people know it as uh, EHD for, for short. That's our feature district uh, for this episode of the one on one show at AFC Youth Magazine. We want to get an insight on how they are doing their business, their programs, their projects that they are running uh, in Harare East uh, in tonight's episode of the one on one show at AFC Youth Magazine. My guest tonight is uh, Sister Tabith Thompson. She is from Masasa branch. Now, Masasa is one of the five branches that make up uh, Mabvuko village, which is one of the three uh, villages that make up a uh, Arare Eastern District Youth Fellowship or EHD. Now, and the EHD is also one of the six Eastern districts that make up Harare province. Uh, Tabith is served in the uh, she serves at, at a branch as the uh, youth treasurer and she's also part of the EHD Youth Committee. Sister Tabith, welcome to the show. To you all, uh, my name is Tabith Thompson. I want to thank you all for this opportunity of allowing me to take part in the AFC Youth Magazine. Mm, my journey as a leader in AFC Youth began in 2014. When I was first appointed as a branch committee member, it was also part of Later on in 2017, I was also appointed as a branch, branch treasurer and also as a committee member in the district information. I'm so happy that um, we managed to get in touch with you. Um, I always, I mean, on this show, our policy, we encourage girls' participation. So uh, when I got in touch with you, I was happy to, to have you um, participate in this, in this program, in this uh, one-on-one show, whereby we are just featuring some of the prominent uh, youth members in our, in our, in our ministry. So um, I would want you to, to hear from you. Uh, what advice would you give to other girls? You know, um, most youth committees are dominated by by uh, by boys, uh, and most uh, roles uh, in those committees are actually reserved for boys. I've never come across um, a committee that is run by a lady, maybe in the position of chairman, chair lady. Uh, or chairman's position being taken by by a lady uh, where she can serve as a chair lady. I have never come across that, but um, the roles that I've seen that um, are mostly uh, given to, to ladies in our youth ministry are uh, maybe being treasurer or vice secretary, something like that. Uh, what advice would you give uh, other girls who might also want to participate in youth committees just as you do all the ladies who are out there who maybe want to take part in the committee or who are shy or who don't even want to participate i say to you oh no pray to god to give you the strength and the courage to stand up and rise we are all women and there's nothing different between me and you let's all participate in this and let's all give glory to God and let's all take part for there is a reward for doing good things there is a reward for working for the Lord and there is a reward for doing all things for the Lord let's all take part and work for the Lord for he knows what we are doing why we are doing when we will do it and what time we will be doing that exactly so do not feel discouraged or something it maybe it's not your time yet or you had the chance or maybe you may never have the chance but still you took part in whatever that you did apart from being part of the committee now um from a leadership point of view um what would you say uh, is the biggest challenge that our youth ministry is, is facing and uh, what solutions uh, 
do you suggest that um, if maybe adopted our youth ministry can be in a better place to solve those challenges uh, about shortfalls or shortcomings i think i only have two points the first one is that parents some parents are not ready to motivate their children to attend youth fellowships and the other one is the youth themselves are not even interested some of them they don't even attend my meetings or attend my youth services so those are the only two points that i have my advice to my fellow youth in general is that let us go there go out there and spread the word of god let us spread the word let us spread the gospel of the lord jesus christ who died for us on the cross let people know that the god whom we worship is alive let them see it through our works let them know it from what we say what we do what we talk and what we eat let them not assume that this one goes to church yeah i think she goes no 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 for those who walk with the lord never lose their way yourself being a pastor's child i i know you are always stereotyped the role model of a child <laughs> how is that um, experience affected you well as a pastor's daughter you know <laughs> um people expect a lot from me they are all looking at me and they want the best from me but what i want to tell other people out there those who are <clears throat> who are like me do not do things because people want you to do them or do not do things because people are expecting those things from you let your good your good personality come from within you be who you are be truly you like do not do it just because i'm the pastor's daughter i'm the pastor's son no being good does not have it does it doesn't mean that you have to be someone from a higher post for you doesn't mean that you have to come from a family of a higher post or what no even someone just an ordinary member of a, of a church has to do something good has to do good things walk a righteous path and everything will be righteous and thank you so much guys for watching this episode that was uh, sister tabith Thompson from ehd uh youth fellowship thank you sister tabith for for sharing with us uh, your programs and the work that you are doing uh, in Harare East. Um, I hope that um, our viewers have learned a thing or two from this discussion and uh, we hope to engage further as you shall be unpacking your programs for 2021.